Myron here with Best Contracting. How to know if your contractor does good siding work. Okay, so most important is the siding itself. Make sure you're choosing a manufacturer that can stand up to color and durable to the weather, the wind. Uh, we highly recommend the Certain T Vinyl Siding. It's one of the best manufacturers in the business. Also, very important what you can't see. You want to make sure that the contractor installs a really good weather barrier and tapes all the seams. Little details like your corner posts matter. They come in the composite and the vinyl like you see here. I do caution against the builder grade corner posts. The builder grade quality just doesn't hold up and is a lot thinner of a product. Also little details that you might not notice as a homeowner but really matter to us are the, are the J channel pieces. A lot of contractors just cut this straight. Make sure it's 45 then locked in. That's really important. And this is really hard to see. This is kind of like your stone drip cap. Make sure above your doors you have this little piece of metal installed. It goes up along the top of the door and up the wall. Any rain that comes in does not get your door and rot it out. Same with your garage door. The top of your garage door here needs to have that. Very important. Also, your light blocks. A lot of contractors will just fasten these light blocks or the lights themselves straight to the vinyl siding. Make sure a proper light block is installed before you put the lights back on the home. All right, so there's several options when you get to the actual garage door trim. We either recommend custom capping the garage door trim or replacing it with AZAC. But at the very least, you want to make sure your composite brick mold is in great condition. So we're often redoing the garage door trim as well. Also very important is your soffit intake. There's three different brands out there that you can choose, but a lot of contractors are just putting up solid soffit or inadequate vented soffit. So make sure there is enough of vented soffit for the intake to vent through your attic space. And the soffit here is one of the three recommended vinyl soffits for a soffit replacement. Okay, one other thing, anytime there's any masonry products that like you see here, make sure to have a drip cap installed. Any water that comes down needs to be able to flush out the front of this without going behind the product. Very important detail. All right, a little detail that really adds up, and if you closely inspect it, you'll notice this detail, is your return box. How do the return boxes in your home look? The freeze board and the fascia. When you look at it visual, visually, they should just look really good. So make sure to inspect these areas closely uh, when you're picking your contractor and ask your contractor to show you photos of work they've done. So the louvers are either functional or they are aesthetic. If you do not have ridge vent or ease vent, you need a functional louver on your gables. This one here is just an aesthetic uh, visual louver. So make sure that if it's needed, it's installed. And if you like that visual effect, that they also installed for that purpose. Also something to note, is your contractor going over little details about your vinyl siding and your accents like your cedar impressions versus your horizontal siding? Um, getting your renderings over to you from your contractor to show you what it looks like to add. Prior to this job, there was a horizontal siding here, and we showed them the rendering and showed them what it looks like to put the cedar shakes on this wall, and they chose to do that, and it turned out really nice. All these details might seem minor to you, but really add up to hiring a great contractor.